Hi girls, so obviously I'm going to be Barbie in this tutorial and of course the first thing that I'm going to do is apply foundation all over my face. I'm just using L'Oreal's True Match in W4 using a foundation brush. I just love the consistency of this foundation so much. It leaves my skin looking flawless, so that's why I chose this one. And again, just putting the foundation all over my face with the brush. Next, I am going to conceal under my eyes using Hard Candy's Nobody's Perfect, oh no, not Nobody's Perfect, Hard Candy Cam Glamouflage Concealer in Light. And this stuff seriously is so thick and covers so much, so that's why I chose this. And just putting it under my eyes to brighten it up. Okay, now we're going to set everything with a powder, and I'm just using Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, and I think the color's in Silky Beige. Now I'm going to prime my eyes using a NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and I chose this because of the white. It makes bright colors pop, so and also the colors stick to it so awesomely. So if you've never used that pencil before, you should absolutely get it. It's awesome. Next I'm just going to use this Maybelline Duo, and I'm going to use the darker color that's in it, and just define the outer corner of my eye, and I'm just using my finger. And this part does not have to be perfect at all because my entire lid space is going to be covered with purples and pinks and you'll see. <laughs> so yeah, just blending that out with my fingers. And now I'm taking that lighter color in that same duo and putting that lighter color all over my lid and I'll probably blend it upwards too. Okay, next I'm using this Petal Pusher palette and using those two colors labeled or that I squared off for you and putting it on the rest of my lid, just blending out all the colors that I already put on. And then I'm using those two top brighter colors and putting it on my lid also just to make it a little bit more sparkly. I just wanted whenever in person, whenever you looked at my eye, it looked like there was so many different dimensions of purple. And I loved that so much. So that's why I'm choosing all these different purples. And now I'm using a pink because you can't be Barbie without pink. So taking that bright pink color and just sticking it under my brow bone. I thought it looked really, really nice under there. So just taking it and sticking it under there. Nope, did that just to see while I was doing it. I wanted to make sure that it sparkled. And then applying that same pink color from the e.l.f. palette um, on the outer corner just so pink seeps through the purple. Okay, and now I'm going to start doing the blue in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm just applying it in the inner corner, blending it upwards into the pink and the purple. Don't these colors look so pretty together? I just got so happy with the way it turned out. And doing the same to the other side, of course. And of course, I'm putting it also on my waterline, and then I'm going to take some more purples and pinks and blend it out on the bottom, too. And now I'm just blending, them, blending all those colors together. And now I'm taking that dark crease color just to define the outer corner of my eye, like so, just to deepen it. And that brush I got from Kmart, I love that brush so much. And again, just deepening the outer corner with that dark purple from the Wet n Wild palette. Seriously, Wet n Wild is bomb. And then I'm taking those two colors right there that I just showed you and blending out that darker color together. That way it just blends seamlessly. And now I'm taking that darker color on the right side of the palette and I'm just going to deepen it just a little bit more. That way it gives it a little bit more dimension. I'm just layering it on my eyes. <laughs> it's Halloween, why not, right? And now, of course, blending all that out. And now, like I said before, just smudging some more of that purple and pink and on the bottom lash line. And the reason why I'm extending it out so far is because um, I'm going to put bottom lashes on there. And I want my eyes to look really dolly. And I'm using All Maves Black Liquid Liner, and I'm doing like a super wing. Because my eyes are really small and close together, so if I made the wing less dramatic, then it would just 
it wouldn't look right. And of course, falsies, super, super falsies. These are Model 21 falsies. I don't know the number though. And then I just use a bottom one top lash and just cut it in half for my bottom lashes and clean up the white from the glue and clean up make that line look crisp with some eye or liquid liner and then of course um, use the jumbo pencil and milk for the bottom that way, your, that way your eyes look wide awake and then of course I'm lining the bottom of them to mesh more with the top And now I added just a little bit more pink and touching up the blue. Just a little bit more. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. Now for the cheeks. Um, for the cheeks, of course, I used e.l.f.'s um, Pink Passion. That's the brightest pink blush I own. So that's why I chose that. And I uh, rubbed a little bit of the MAC MSF and the Semi Precious line in Rose Quartz, I think, over that to make it shiny. And then I'm just using the NYC bronzer all over my cheeks just to contour because it's not that sparkly. And then also contouring my nose just to make my nose look slimmer. Blending all the contouring out, of course. And now I wanted a, um, a base for my lips. That way it was, my lips are so pigmented as you guys know. And now I'm just lip, uh, lining my lips with a lip liner. I got this lip liner from CVS. It's um, that Jordana brand, I think, and it's a purple color. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it, but I will have it in the bottom bar. And just line your lips however you want. You know, I'm just lining them like normal. And then I'm going to use Double Up on the lipstick, uh, the Victoria's Secret Pulse lipstick. It's like a really bright pink, and then NYX's Harmonica, which is like a the perfect Barbie color, and that's what I'm putting on right now. And then I'm following it with the Victoria's Secret Pulse Lipstick that I actually got for like two bucks during the Victoria's Secret sale. Just rubbing that. And it came out too shiny, so I'm, you'll see me dab in a second. Yep, just dabbed. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, the look for the eyes. And now I'm putting on the blonde wig. And I got this wig from Walmart for like $5, and it is not a good wig at all. But, of course, I had to do something to it. I couldn't just leave it down, so I decided to put pigtails on the side, and it actually came out cute. And I had this headband, and I stuck that on there, too. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and you guys have a good day. Bye.